So we've talked about perspective. Perspective is a pictorial drawing technique. It is the most difficult pictorial drawing technique, but it gives you the most realistic results. What we're going to do is we're going to switch gears and we're going to go low tech. We're going to go to the easiest pictorial drawing technique. It's called oblique. Unfortunately, it is the least realistic of all the pictorial drawing methods. So oblique drawings basically are created by drawing the front face, the front shape, and then simply projecting lines back at 45 degrees to give the illusion of some depth. Now, there's a drawback. Look at this old style camera. It doesn't look very realistic, you know? There's no way you could possibly ever hold this in your hand and have it look like this. But we can see that the person that drew it just drew what the front looked like and then projected corners back, projected edges back to create that illusion of depth. So these are all created by drawing a single front view and then projecting back at 45. Single front view and then drawn back at 45. Even this little piece of uh, file cabinet here, right, is drawn front view with 45 degrees going back. Now, pictorial view drawing is awesome in that you can do it very quickly, very easily, and it's very easy to understand. But again, the realism goes out the window. For example, let's take a look at these train tracks. See, in perspective, the train tracks appear to get smaller as they go off into the distance, like they would when you look at them. In oblique, though, nothing ever gets smaller. No matter how far away the train tracks go, they will always be the same size. So oblique has quite a bit of distortion involved. It's not a natural, realistic view, but it is quick and sloppy and it gets the job done. So what we want to do is we want to talk about how to set this up in AutoCAD. Uh, basically, we'll draw a front view and we'll use the 45 degree triangle to draw some lines back. You could use the 30 or the 60, uh, but really 45 gives you the best of all worlds. It gives you an equal amount of top and an equal amount of side. Okay, so we'll take a look. We're going to hop over into AutoCAD. Um, real simply, I'm going to draw a box uh, starting at 0, 0. And we'll make it 3 inches by 3 inches. And then in order to give it that look of depth, I'm going to go in here and go back at 45 degrees, 3 inches deep. Okay, and really once you've got that first projection line, we can go in and we can go clicky clicky on the corners, add the other edges, and we can use the copy tool to copy the front to the back. Explode and get rid of the lines we don't need anymore. And voila, here is our box in oblique projection. If we take a look at some of the examples back in the B12 course pack, we see a little set of stairs here, three steps. Well, in perspective, we already talked about perspective, everything appears to get smaller, either to one point off in the distance, or in this case, two points. Uh, but here we've got our front view of the steps, and everything is going back at 45 degrees, the same amount of depth, and then the back edge is capped off. So if we were to go in and draw those steps, three inches tall, three inches wide, and just up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, or I guess we could close. Here's our front view. We'll go in, draw a two inch deep 45 line. I need that same line on every other corner. And then we need these edges in the back, just like we needed them in the front. And then we have our little oblique staircase. 
angles in oblique. We have a three inch tall, six inch wide ramp. Angles in oblique are handled the exact same way as vertical and horizontal lines. Uh, I will draw the front view and then I will project back at 45 degrees, whatever depth I need. Maybe two inches deep. Two inches deep. And then we will play connect the dots. And that closes us out for a slope or a ramp in oblique. The only thing that's ever going to be really tricky with oblique and it's not even tricky after doing it a few times, is anything involving circles or cylinders. So for example, I want to make something that's cylindrical. So on the end, it's going to be circular. I made a two inch radius circle. And then in order to draw this in oblique as a cylinder, like a soda can say, uh, I'm going to find the center point and go back at 45. I'll go back five inches and I'll take that circle and draw the exact same circle here in the back and then to go in we'll just play connect the tangents tangent here to tangent there and tangent here I'll get it one of these days Tangent here to tangent here. A little bit of trimming. And here is our cylinder in oblique. Now, of course, we're looking at the round end. Uh, it would be a little bit trickier if we were working on the top or on the right face. Circles in oblique are nice and perfect circles looking at them dead on, but they turn into some freaky looking little ellipses from the top or from the right side. So if we had to draw one in oblique, let's just hope it's on the face looking directly at us. I would challenge you at this point to try to draw a few objects in oblique projection, for example. Um, Would you be able to set this three view drawing up as an oblique drawing? And while there's no dimensions given, could you more or less guess at the sizes proportion wise? How about this one? Would you be able to draw this as an oblique drawing? Again, this is fairly simple. You have horizontal lines and vertical lines. Uh, here we have another one, fairly simple. Well, this guy here, a little bit trickier, right? Because now this is a square cutout, a void going completely through the object. Would you be able to draw that in oblique projection? This here, again, has a very well-defined front view. So this should be easy to project into oblique. In fact, 